a guy the other day. I, I'm walking down the street, and a guy comes down, pickup truck. I'm at a stop sign. He doesn't see me. He's not slowing down. He slows down at the stop sign. I go to cross, and he goes, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I said, no, you stay, 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 stay. <laughs> and he goes, come on, come on, come on. I go, no, 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 you stay, 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 stay. Oh, wait. What does that have to do with James Comey? <laughs> it's the same thing. Before we worked on SNL, our lives like bare, just had these wonderful moments of intersection. And you mentioned you were, I was in Chicago. You uh, were doing a show with Tina Fey, a two-woman show that you did one time. One night only. And Seth was in the audience. Yeah. And it was kind of like 15 minutes of sketch and then like, you know, an hour of improv, like hoping that people wouldn't notice. But, um, <laughs> and we did, a, we did something called The Dream, which is you pull someone up from the audience and you ask them about their day and we pulled up Seth. Yes. So I, uh, wet behind the ears, I sat there and I told you about my day and completely fell for you. I was so, and yes. then you had no memory of it when we met. No, I don't remember any of it. Yeah. <laughs> And you told me the story, and I was like, I don't remember. You'd made no impression on me. And it was funny, because we were at SNL. We started SNL together, and you were so nice about everything else. You were like, oh, my God, that's so cool. You were in Chicago, and we're both from New England. I said, and one time, we did this thing. And you said, no, I don't know. No. You refused to even it. You know, fake like it. in the Peanuts, when the, the adults talk, and it just sounds like, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. That's what it felt like, I think. <laughs> that's about right. that bad? Look at us now. Look at us now. Yeah, yeah. And there was another show I did when I first met you in Amsterdam. I did a show yeah. in Amsterdam when I met Seth for the first time. We were opening for Patti Smith, of course, makes sense. Uh -huh. Upright Citizens Brigade opening for Patti Smith. And you were in the audience then, too. Yeah. And we met again. And I don't remember. You don't remember that either. You guys are like wives, like work wives. Yeah, we are common kind law. of. We, we are common law comedy wives at mm -hmm. this point. We have worked long enough that we could, I, well, I feel like I own half of what Tina has. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she does. <laughs> uh, you would, would you say you have a shorthand? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we, uh, it's not a, all the way twin speak, but I think, you know, if we're like in a crowded place, we can come up and be like, the thing with, we need to, Seth and mm -hmm. the, right. cause it, yeah, got it. <laughs> it's terrifying we, we to watch. We can talk about people in front of them and mm -hmm. they don't really understand. Gotcha. Like. Do you, see, you know what I mean? You know what Fred's doing? Like, no, okay. isn't it? Just hey, Fred. Like, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> you remember the thing with. Yeah, no, of yeah, course, no, and right. it's good. And it's good. And, and at the end of the day, he just. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite stories is you on the flight to the first one. You lost your phone on the plane. Okay, so I like to plan things, um, and uh, I think I'm good at it, and. So I had basically the entire trip's itinerary on my phone. And then I went into, and you guys, when you, was, when you put your phone in your back pocket and sometimes you go um, to the bathroom on the airplane and you pull your pants down, you know sometimes, yes, right? <laughs> You're like, did I, did I? And so I, <laughs> I flushed the toilet and I was washing my hands because I washed my hands. <laughs> and I was like, I looked for my phone and I was like, oh my God, I flushed my phone down the toilet. And I came out, and this is when I screw up, I get really mad. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, I flushed my phone down the toilet. <laughs> and everyone was like, what? And I was like, I flushed my phone down the toilet, and the trip is ruined, and all of the plans are ruined. And I just sat there and just like huffed and puffed, and I was like, and everything's ruined, and it's not gonna be a good time. And everyone's like, what's happening? And everybody acted exactly how you would think they would act. Maya Rudolph, the Earth Mother, like, um, big hearted was like, get me some gloves, I'm gonna look in that toilet. <laughs> Anna Gasteyer, level-headed, was like, you know, maybe it's in your bag. And I was like, no, it's down the toilet. Um, uh, Paula Pell, forever supportive, was like, I need a new phone, too. So when we land, we'll both go buy new phones. And then Emily Spivey, who is the most hilarious in, in times of crisis, was just looking out the window, drinking her wine, going, y'all, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> If my phone went in the toilet, y'all, I would die. <laughs> we had dinner last night with some of our friends. We did. And uh, you then had to, you were the, kind of the first one out the door because yeah. you had to do the Today Show. I did the Today Show this morning, which was so fun. Yep. And that show was amazing. It's been, like, it's a, a crazy circus. Yes. As you know. Um, but I texted a friend of ours because this morning it was like a SNL sketch that we have probably written a million times because I was a little hungover, uh -huh. uh, not a lot of sleep, 
and I had to get up really early, and I had to do crafts, uh, which I don't do. Right. Um, <laughs> with, um, with Al Roker and Hoda, and I followed a story about a, a giraffe getting pregnant. <laughs> But it made me think about, we used to joke all the time that there would always be sketches where we would think it was really funny if it was like the local newscasters in Tucson who were really hungover and just trying to get through the morning. Yeah. Like, good morning. Tu <laughs> good morning, Tucson. <laughs> just trying not to throw up the whole time. Yeah. Well, I, well, I think we maybe even talked about it here. There was like a, like, I remember there was a famous night where we were out very late at SNL, <clears> and then you, uh, Finesse Mitchell and Keenan Thompson, had to leave, like you had, well, you left a bar like an hour before you got picked up to they'll all go play the Black Eyed Peas in a, a sketch. Oh, that was such a dark, dark day. Yeah. <laughs> and you filmed it and it was really exciting for the rest of us because you then all told us like we were so hungover and we had oh. to dance like the Black Eyed Peas and then we all just got to wait to watch the pre-tape. And then it was so much fun to watch because you guys all looked like really unhappy Black Eyed Peas. And <laughs> Keenan Thompson was doing the funniest bit where he was pretending to take calls from himself the night before. And he was like, hello? And he was like, you want me to go home? I don't think so. <laughs> and he was, like, he, was, he was doing the other side going, you gotta go home, man. You're gonna be up all night. And you're gonna be in the Black Eyed Peas in the morning. He was like, nice try, buddy. Not women's soccer, women's sport in general, not worth watching. <laughs> that brings us to a segment we like to call Really with Seth and Amy. worth watching. I think a lot of people would love to watch you say that to Serena Williams. <laughs> really? Really? And by the way, here's the go-ahead goal from the England-Norway game. Plays it out wide again. The shot by Bronze and a goal! And here's a sports moment that you would apparently rather watch. Around 3, 4, 4, three, five, <laughs> to a Southwestern. Here's Billy Horschel at 6, 4, <laughs> Really? really? Wow. wow, really? Yeah, I guess I'm not surprised that you work for Sports Illustrated. You guys put out a swimsuit issue every year dedicated entirely to women who aren't in sports. Unless you think that it's a sport to cover both boobs with one arm. <laughs> really? Here she comes. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. Here she comes. She's walking down the beach. Bikini top is off, but her arm is out, and she's done it. She's covered both nipples. <laughs> Scratch once, this is something that's never happened at SNL except for this. She threw out her back in the middle of read through. Yeah, Rachel, and, and this, we based the scene in the movie off of this real thing, which is, she, you know, when you get to a certain age, you just hurt your back just like going like this. Yeah. Um, you don't have to do anything. And so I think she just turned to talk to someone, was like, Oi! and her back went out and she couldn't move. And so she did the read through lying on the floor. <laughs> yeah with about 100 people in the room, and she was killing. Yeah. Because she was just holding her scripts. And you couldn't see her. Floor. Everybody's at a table, and she, <laughs> she was, was like under basically the under the table. She was under the table. And Johnny Knoxville was the host, and he was such a nice, amazing a host. A gentleman. And um, he very helpfully reached into his pocket and just pulled out a bunch of loose pills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they all had different colors. <laughs> They, they didn't have any tags, <laughs> yeah. no, no bottles. Yeah. And they looked at him and he was like, wow, oh, these are all uppers. These aren't gonna work. <laughs> and, um, so, uh, and then I'll remember this too, is that the nurse, the NBC uh, nurse came up and gave um, Dratch her, you know, Vicodin or whatever. And she was like, oh, and there was like the vultures. There was like 10 people would be like, uh, Dratch, are you gonna uh, use the rest of that Vicodin? And I, was like, I was like, get away from her. Get her pain pills. <laughs> and then don't do pills, you guys. Yeah, no do pills. Yeah, come on, guys. That's not what this is. If there's any message, um, 